Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing well. So in this session, I'm going to cover the structural analysis on supporting frame. Okay, so you could see the machine and we have the uh, structural support frame. So in the later on session, I'm gonna cover nonlinear analysis, modern analysis, everything. For now, static structural analysis. Let's get started with this. The static analysis for both the cases. One is the rectangular tube, which we had considered. One is for C tube. So at the moment, I'll just showcase the results for now and then I'll go through the step by step process. Uh, first one is this, which I had already opened the rectangular tube. So this is the model and the solution. Boundary conditions I'll explain later. The deformation is maximum is 0 0.07. Okay, it's in MM unit system. You can see here. And the stress is uh, maximum here is 43.45 megapascal. Uh, that is not exactly the uh, required answer because it's a case of stress singularity at the shaft corners. To avoid it, we can add the Phillips and chamfers at the moment. But with respect to this condition, we need to take the weld joints into account. But so. At the moment, we are not so concerned about this particular result. So we are mainly focusing on these, the loading conditions, how the structure behaves and the deformation. Even this also plays very important role uh, with respect to the weldings and all. But practically, we need to deal with the uh, welding there. So the weld analysis I'll cover in the later session. That is the beyond the scope of this particular session. We can cover that later. So this is about the equivalent stress when it comes to the factor of safety. This is 5.7. Maximum is this location. Uh, but the thing is, uh, with respect to the stress singularity, also it is considering. It is not exactly the 5.7. Remember that. Hmm? With respect to the uh, rectangular tube, it is. I'll uh, go back and I'll just open the results for C tube. So what the changes is, instead of using the rectangle tube, why can't we go for the C tube to just reduce the weight of the entire structure? So that is what the concern is. Yeah, I could see this is the C tube which we had considered. Uh, the goal of this particular uh, consideration is to reduce the weight of the entire uh, supporting frame so that we can reduce the costings and so on. The stress 91 megapascal if you want to check where exactly it is acting again it is at the corner so this is the stress singularity region okay you can just change to Y frame these are the locations we need to consider uh, the total deformation is 0 0.34 considering it is more but it is under requirement and when it comes to the factor of safety it is 2.7 okay so this is about the results analyzation now we'll see the step-by-step -step process how to deal with these things okay so to deal with the uh, basic structural analysis you need to use these analysis systems from there you can search for the structural analysis okay we even have the back solver you can select any of these so at the moment i'll go with the basic simple so you can simply select and drag and drop it like this okay so as i'm going to deal with the uh just demo purpose I'll just name it as demo. You can just name whatever you want. The data by default it took the engineering data that is structural steel. If you want to just check this one, simply double click on it and you can see it is the structural steel. With respect to that, we have the properties, density, inks, modulus, each and everything. Okay, Poisson's ratios and all. So these are the engineering resources from here you can check the general material tab from here if you want you can add the material required okay 
so there are so many materials with respect to the uh, requirement if you're going to deal with the explicit analysis you can select these things thermal analysis materials and our general non-linear materials so there are so many okay you can select these things to deal with the non-linear dynamic analysis and all so for now to just go with the same case studies i'll stick to the agenda okay yeah this is done so engineering data how to define the material there and switch the materials i need to import the geometry the thing is you can create the geometry using the uh, design modeler or space plane but at the moment i'll just use the previously created model okay which i had already created let's consider a c section at the moment okay so the geometry is imported you could see it is green these two are done now you need to deal with the meshing process you can simply double click or right click and edit this both options are fine okay it will load the model and now before starting the analysis first better to check the unit system go to unit system here we have the mm kg newton okay now we need to mesh it you can even go with the the default mesh to just to check how it gonna work could see this is the default one if you want to change it you can go to the sizing you can just choose it to fine okay uh, the relevant size uh, and even the space angle you can change it to fine and just try to generate the mesh again so you could see we can refine it like this so if you want to still refine more and more you can use the advanced options so mesh controls sizing and the refinement level face meshing and all you can try but at the moment I'm not so concerned with the meshes so i'll use this mesh once you're done with this, if you switch to the structural analysis, the tab will open to apply the loads and boundary conditions. Okay, you can use the drop down, you can select the force. At the moment, I'm going to apply the force, I'll just select it and the faces. So, this particular splitting I had done using the solid box. Okay, you can use the split face option to just select the location where you just want to apply the loading condition. So, these are the faces where I need to apply the force so here I'll apply approximately 500 Newton load so if you want to convert this into kg divide by gravity value 9.81 okay so that's right. now the direction I need to refer so for that you can even just select the face let's say I'll just select this it's gonna give you the options so I'll just select this respect to this face you can see the direction it is upwards you can even reverse it minus 500 or else you will get the option to just reverse it here only yep so this is done so next thing i need to apply the support you can go with this option and select the support or else the shortcut is you can simply uh, right click on any of the face you have the insert option from here you can select all the things so i need to select the reference faces for this so i would like to select these things okay Need to hold the control and select all the faces apply now these all the border faces are fixed you could see the preview you can even change the color codings later on now so these are the simple boundary condition for the static 
structural analysis now the result extraction what and all you need if you just click on it the results tabs will open or else you can simply right click from here you can select i'm going to deal with the uh, factor of safety you can just select this option stress tool and maximum equivalent stress with respect to that that you have the factor of safety and then what else deformation total deformation i would like to have and the stress maximum equivalent stress okay these are the requirements for me now just simply uh, solve this okay with respect to the mesh it might take more time so try to deal with the simple mesh and then you can go ahead with the final yep could see this is done and these are the results so factor of safety is 50 total deformation is 0 0.08 and the equivalent stress is 14.53 so mesh is not so fine so it is like this so if you want to use the probes you can activate this so this very important thing uh if you want you can activate the true scale for your convenience okay If you get this kind of just a minute, situations in your model, where uh, these stresses will be more at these corners due to the insufficient area to distribute the loading condition. So that is a force by area is infinite so if you keep on increasing the mess uh, factors that is the uh, refining the mesh the stress values will keep on increasing at this location so to avoid this we need to apply the uh, fillets or we need to avoid the shaft corners into the model so you need to remember that so in this case if you want to overcome this so just neglect these areas and just check the results on the required location so let's say in this my uh, area of concentration are these so you can use the probe and you can just check the results on these location it is only 4.2 mega pascal okay so like this you can cross check you can use the probes here now i need to create one more study as we did in the pre previous thing here you could see we have two and i had compared the results so how to do this to deal with this you can go to the mesh okay and from here you can just select this one default size instead of default size you can just activate this so that it will be taken there if you want to change you can change it from the quality uh, sorry here only you can enter the value so this value will be linked there okay you can change it it is by default we have taken if you link this it will be taken outside so now again i want to cross check the stress values here you can just use this option p so these things will be linked outside so let's say we'll take these two and i'll simply uh, just save this project at the moment and i'll close it okay the mesh and the sizing i had just considered here okay now you could see it is linked to this as well so if I simply double click on this, it will take to the parameters thing and here it will show you the results. So uh, with respect to the mesh conversions, which I had done for each. So it is default for third one. So I haven't changed it. If you want, you can change things here. First thing I had considered here is the 15 mm mesh for the yeah so here you could see 
the uh, P1 lengths to the rectangular tube mesh and here P3 tends to C tube results, P4 tends to rectangular results. Okay. So for 15 mm mesh for both conditions, the results for rectangular tube is 30 mega Pascal and it is 67. And when I keep on decreasing the mesh size, when I consider the least one 5 mm puts it to 61 and it is 115 mega Pascal. So you can see the results, it is keep on increasing. This is due to a uh, stress singularity at that corner. So if you don't have that region there, to avoid it, you can add the fillet there and you can get the results. You'll get the mesh convergency graph, so which will be a straight line. So like this, uh, draw that, give me a minute. So your graph will be like this. So initially for a coarse mesh, it will be somewhere here like this. And then when you keep on increasing the mesh at certain location, your results will be straight enough means like this. So these are the regions which you can consider for the results analysis. Okay. Like this. So get these things, this results here. Let's say if I consider this here, 61 later on 61.8. 61.84 like that so you can consider the results for the final project validation okay so when i come uh, when we come back to this one so we had seen i had considered these st static structural rectangular or like analysis for this rectangular tube as i did the same thing here to showcase what and all these steps i had followed the same thing i had carried out for the c tube as well to de deal with the mesh convergence, see, I had taken the uh, one mesh stress and the mesh into account to compare the results and uh, had compared it. Okay. And uh, like this, you can just carry out the simple static structure analysis. Okay. So this is quite simple. So in the later on session, I'll explain how to deal with the resonant frequency, natural frequency of this particular model and how to deal with the non-linear analysis here so let's say if i need to deal with the varying load things so how to carry out the non-linear analysis for this particular model okay yep so that's all about this session thank you guys stay tuned bye everyone